Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris with CNM Aquatics. On this channel, we talk about pretty much anything coral related or marine aquarium related. And today, I thought we would talk a little bit about Favia corals. So, Favia corals are a type of LPS or large polyp stony coral, and they're kind of divided into two categories. You have Favias and Favites. So they can be very hard to tell apart. Um, Favites, the corallites or the polyps, share a single wall in the skeleton, and the Favia have a more pronounced singular head. So like right here, it, we're showing some Favites. You can see how the polyps kind of all run together and share the same skeletal structure. And some of them can be very difficult to tell apart. Um, sometimes you have to really examine the skeleton. But regardless, Favia corals, like I said, are an LPS and they come in many different colors and, and growth patterns and shapes and they are a very diverse coral. If there's a color out there that you're looking for, you know, for your aquarium, you can probably find it in a Favia or, or a Favites. And generally, Favia, Favia corals grow in kind of like a, an encrusting fashion. So they'll, they'll grow out and encrust over your frag plug and, and the rocks in your aquariums kind of like a, a mat across the surface of the rocks. And they can really add a, a, a certain depth and bring coloration to your aquarium. They are very nice corals to have and you can see the coloration in this guy. I think they're kind of an underrated coral. So as far as the care requirements for Fabia corals, I try to keep them in medium to high lighting. Uh, 50 to 150 par and it is important if you're getting Favia for the first time to acclimate them slowly to your lighting depending on you know how intense your your lighting is in your aquarium just start real slow you know if you can dim your lights dim them down or start the coral lower in the aquarium and, and move it up gradually you know weeks months even to acclimate them to the light. It's better to go too slow than too fast. Too much light will kill these corals a lot faster than too little light. And Fabia corals actually, they, they do better. I try to keep them on the lower end as far as flow so that they're not getting beat up by the current too much. They, they seem to do well in low to medium flow for the aquarium. And you can see here, this one has kind of taken off and encrusted over the rock next to it. And, and that's exactly what they do. And Fabia corals, they may not look like it, but if you check your corals, you know, in the morning before the lights come on, Fabias do send out sweeper tentacles. So it is important to try to give them space. You can see in this aquarium, I have them next to other, you know, mushrooms and bird's nests and some other soft corals. And they do pretty good, but just keep in mind they do send out sweeper tentacles and they do have the ability to sting. And on that note, if you're trying to get better coloration and faster growth out of these corals, they will absolutely take in food and eat. So two to three times a week, you know, right before the lights come on in the aquarium, I will give them some meaty foods, you know, like mysis shrimp or brine shrimp something like that and they will grab onto it and they will actually eat so they are fun to, to to watch eat as well as far as propagation goes if you want to cut these guys up i would recommend having a coral saw you know a diamond coated tip band saw it makes the job a lot easier so that was just a, a real real quick overview of Fabia corals, sometimes called war, war corals. If you guys have any questions, you know, please leave them in the comments, send me a message and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.